here's a look at my uh, home theater configuration for Atmos. I'm working on putting ceiling speakers in here. I have a 70 inch Vizio UHD in the front, all the equipment down there. Up here is the left front speaker, center is attached up there, and then the right. Now the left and right and center technically all should be at ear level in the front, according to guides. Uh, but that is not the way I have it right now. I might lower those fronts down uh, a couple feet to bring it closer to ear level. I've had it this way for a long time, never really had a big issue with it, so I may or may not. I don't want it to be an arm's length of little ones reaching up and grabbing onto it. That's the main issue. Uh, but a foot or two might be okay. Then we have our side love seat area here. And we come over here. And it curves around into the main seats right here. And in the back you have the four speakers for the 7.1. And there's the right right side over there and the rears. I had them a lot higher before, up on the ceiling almost. And I brought them down uh, a bit. They, um, the rears are a little higher because of this problem right, right up here. I can't seem to find a way to bring that one down because of the window. I'm thinking some kind of a pole mount might lower that. And then you have the other ones here. So the sides are dropped down a little bit lower because of this window issue. I could probably either bring the sides up a foot or find a way to bring those two down. Atmos needs greater separation. So probably down wouldn't be a bad thing on all of them, actually. Uh, seven and a half foot ceilings in here are a problem, too. But that's probably your more typical situation where things aren't perfect. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. So to do all this, uh, Dolby has some pictures you can find online, and I'm being cheesy and not embedding the image here. I'm just showing the screen. Uh, here is the typical angles for the front uh, and rear Atmos speakers, the four speakers. I'm going for a 714 kind of setup with a new Onkyo I'm looking at. Right now I have a Pioneer 1130. K model and it only does 5.1.2 I believe and I have it in a 7.1 arrangement right now but the new Onkyo that I was looking at does the full 9.2 so it will support 7.1.4 runs about 1600 at the current price level and these are the angles that are recommended front to rear uh, if you view the um, front is a zero degree angle then the rear being 125 135 150 are basically the same angles going to the rear 55 45 30. now my room has a problem because of the uh, beam here so i'm working around that as best i can and this is the typical layout that you see online when you look at the dolby recommendations for the spacing the lateral positioning left front and then inward with these Atmos speakers. Now these ones are symmetrical all the way around the couch. The way I'm going to have it, or have to have it, won't be quite as symmetrical. The rears will be a little bit further back and the fronts will be closer. Uh, or actually the rears will be a little bit closer and the fronts will be further away. And we use this equation, uh, this is trigonometry, to find x the distance forward or back based on the angle or yeah, you put the angle in, take the tangent, you get the x distance. I went with an average of 50 inches from ear to ceiling based on various heights and whether or not the seats were reclined or not. That's kind of why I have the rear side speakers back a little further because if you recline, they end up being right next to you. And I still think maybe I should pull pull these rears forward a bit. That's a side note. It's a different topic. Uh, so these are the distances I came up with, and for the fronts, at a 45 degree angle. You can also use a phone app, angle meter, or something like that, to confirm the um, angles, which I did. And for a 45 degree angle on the front, I end up right there at 45 degrees from the ear position forward. Obviously, if it was 30, it would be in this beam, so that's not going to work. If it was 55 degrees, 
uh, oh, I'm sorry, if it was 30 degrees, I came up with 86 inches, and 45 is 50 inches, and 55 degree angle is 35 uh, feet, or inches rather, <laughs> from the ear position forward. So at a 45 degree angle, we end up at 50 inches. That's what we got going on right here and over here again. Which I think these will clear the beam enough to be able to hear the Atmos speakers. Yellow markings are beams in the ceiling, I think I've accounted for. And we go to the rear 125 degrees, which is the same as 55 degrees to the rear, and you're only at um, uh, 35 inches back of the ear position, which is here to here, and you end up there. And uh, this other piece here, you can ignore that for right now, you end up here, but this is kind of close, too far to the rear compared to some of the recommended guides. And so I'm thinking laterally, this is just here for this perspective, that I will move this one forward to its kind of position, and it'll put it more in this sort of a frame, but kind of close to the ears already. And where it would normally be would be right here, which is right there. You can see the um, edge of it here, and then the speaker, the speakers being back there. And it might be okay there, I'm not sure. If anybody has any tips on any of this, please uh, feel free to chime in on that. And uh, that's what I've come up with so far. There's the other one back there. Uh, if I come any f more forward, it'll be pretty close to the couch. If you, any you can't go any further back, obviously, because I don't have much distance between the seating area and the rear speakers in this setup. So that's what I've got. I think their angle in terms of where the front speaker is, which, you know, here's this one, comes straight down, and the left speaker's a little bit left. And coming from this perspective, this position, at least for this one, is in this gap, or here, and it would be like right here. Pretty close to that plane, actually. Same deal over here. So, that's what we've got for version number one of what might happen here.